Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. I'm Charlie. And today we are going to show you how to power your home with the all new 2024 EV. Previously we did a video about a complete walk around and test drive and everything else. So check the link above for that video. Uh, also check our other channel, Midwest Adventure Life. We show how we wired our home to have an outlet on the outside for a uh, generator power supply. So when the power goes out, we can power our home with a generator. But we thought it would be cool to power our home with what, Charlie? The Silverado EV truck. So uh, let's get in and we're going to show you how we're going to power the house with this truck. Ready? Yep. All right. So what we have here is a 30 amp. This is a NEMA L14 30 amp to a 50 amp plug. Our plug that we have on our home is a 50 amp. A generator we have supplies 50 amps. This truck, uh, surprisingly, actually has a 30 amp to 220, 240 output in the bed of the truck, which we're gonna show. So you'll need this converter or you'll need some kind of wire to get from this uh, plug in the truck to your home. Now our home, we did wire a RV style generator power input. Uh, so we are gonna go from this 30 amp, we're gonna convert right here to this 50 amp plug. Now it doesn't make 50 amps in here, it's just converting the style of the plug. So you're still at the end of the day, you're gonna only power 30 amps in your home. But that's going to be plenty of power to power lights, uh, refrigerator. If you're lucky enough, maybe an AC unit, depending on the size of the AC unit you have. Certainly a furnace. Um, if you live on a well water, it's going to power your well. So you can power quite a bit. So we're going to show you how we connect the truck to the home. And then we're going to show you how you activate the truck to actually give it that power. And we're going to walk you through the whole steps. All right, Charlie, why don't you hop in there? What I'm doing, we have a 30 amp plug in the truck. And now <clears throat> you're just going to want to put your cord in here and then twist it and now it's locked in and then you can connect your um, 50 amp cord or whatever cord you're using right into the end of your, the adapter. Now Charlie we can come down and we'll put this side into the house. So that outlet is dead right now. There is a feature we're going to show you how to turn on in the truck. This is dead. What we're connecting to in the house is dead. All this stuff there's no power until we flip the breaker in the basement, until we flip this on. So this is, all this stuff is completely dead as far as energy going through it. So Charlie, you're gonna connect that to our house. We've installed, and you can see our video, we'll leave a, a link in the, in the video. We've installed this outlet into our home so we can backfeed from a generator, but we thought it'd be cool to backfeed from the actual Silverado. So now that will be our power source into the main breaker of the home and we'll show you how we transfer that in a second. Uh, Charlie's gonna show us how we turn on this outlet inside the truck. So now that you're in the truck, you wanna click on these two switches here and then go to power base. And now you're gonna click use power base to use power base. So now you're gonna to wanna to turn off your vehicle, which you're just gonna take the keys and walk out of the car. And then you can also set up a timer. So after like, let's say eight hours or seven hours, the um, truck turns off and stops powering your home. So the power base is on now and it's going to let it run until 20% the reserve range is met. Now keep in mind when you're running your home or whatever off of your vehicle you're going to reduce your range of the truck so keep that in mind. Now that we have everything connected we're going to go flip breakers and show you how to get this thing powering your home. All right, so here we are at the main panel. In a previous video, we show how we installed this interlock kit. If you're watching this video on Jeeps on the Run, check out our Midwest Adventure Life. We talk about how we wired this for the, uh, the back feeding of the generator. So in the event we had loss of power, what we would do, and it's gonna go dark here for a minute, is we would turn off the main breaker of the house. So everything's off. We would flip this up. Well, before we do that, we're gonna turn everything off because we know the truck can't power the entire home. So we're gonna flip every breaker. Now this circuit is for the, the, the circuit that is, the truck is plugged, in, plugged into. So we're gonna flip this up, we're gonna turn that on. So now the truck is back feeding into the house and what we're gonna turn on here, let's see if we can, this is our sub panel. Well, we have to turn the sub panel on. I know, but before I turn it on, so we're gonna turn on, um, Base, we'll turn on the basement uh, lights here uh, and see what we got. All right, so we plugged this uh, in 30 amps into the house. We tried firing up a, a 
10 amp circuit in the house and it tripped the uh, the truck. So I did do some homework on it. It sounds like GM is gonna come out with a, uh, a system that's basically gonna communicate between your home and the truck. That is not out yet. I know Ford does have something out. I think they're looking to kind of duplicate that. The one beauty of the Silverado, it is the largest battery in the EV truck world. So you could really power some stuff, some power tools, some heavy equipment for multiple days and probably have a minimal degradation of the battery. Having said that, this did not work today. And uh, comment below, maybe you know why. My thought is that there is a, a bonding issue and there's a ground issue that would normally be between a generator hookup and this. And I'm not sure the truck is able to communicate properly so it doesn't necessarily know how it's hooked up to the, the source I have here. As soon as you hit the breaker, uh, the truck kind of, its own breaker trips out. So I think it doesn't have the right, this is not the right way to do it. So if you're out there thinking you're gonna connect this into your home and back feed, uh, this will not work as of right now anyway. You're gonna have to run some extension cords off those 20 amp circuits to your fridge uh, until GM has a different component that's gonna communicate between your home and the truck. As always, thanks for watching. We appreciate you uh, taking the time. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.